In 2018, the United Nations declared June 3rd International World Bicycle Day. They did so because the bikes are considered an affordable, clean, environmentally fit and sustainable means of transport. But between you and me, biking is just fun. And we're going to hear more about it from Bike Hub's Darian Rambaran. Pleased to meet you. Love of riding spurred Darian, as he prefers to be called, to look into building a business which would share his love of biking with the public. His goal was creating a safe avenue for people to indulge in their desire to ride. Well, so as a young kid, we really enjoyed riding bikes. But uh, it, it was a different time then. Now it's a little dangerous. We feel unsafe riding on the roads. So we started riding mountain bikes in the trails. And it's good fun there. It's like a roller coaster of a trail in, in off-road. So we prefer doing that. But the thing is, mountain bikes were kind of difficult to come across. Well, at least it wasn't so affordable at that time. So now we just gathered a lot of bikes so that people could ride easily. Darian prioritizes cycling safety and as such prefers to use mountain trails for his rides. Off-road riding is really is one step higher than riding on a flat road. Um, there are a few skills involved, but we run you through all the, the technical parts of it, like when to use your brakes, how to change your gears. And we have a few formal classes where you could come to learn the little disciplines on how to ride a mountain bike properly. There's cannot be underestimated. So biking for sure will improve your physical health, your cardiovascular health, your mental health as well. Like during COVID, we found a lot of people coming out to ride. Uh, what I believe is because there was an increase in anxiety, depression as well during them times. So it really, it reduces your stress coming out to ride. You really forget the world of problems, come and ride, just focus on your bike. And it's a good fun, it's a good fun time. The Bike Hub owner says greater use of bicycles in everyday life would be beneficial for the climate as noted by the United Nations. They say using bikes contributes to cleaner air and less pollution. For greater benefits, however, TNT would require a paradigm shift. So while, yeah, we would love to see a lot more bikes on the road, in the trails, and a lot less cars on the road as well. But to be honest, like, the infrastructure is not in place for seeing bikes on the road. Meaning, like, we, we need more bike lanes, bike lights, more signage, more education as well on the, for the bikers and the drivers as well. Just to make sure that everybody is knowledgeable of the bikers and encouraging more people to ride. Other countries have demonstrated the benefits of high bike use. In China in the 1980s and 1990s, when bikes primarily were used for transport and leisure, the population was healthy and the air clean. Over time, however, this lessened as cars and car ownership became tied to economic growth. However, ironically, as noted earlier, throughout the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, cycling boomed and so did air quality as people avoided crowds and public spaces. In TNT, Darian says riders can benefit from the laws being made more prominent with respect to bikes. As he explains, cyclists are supposed to avoid pavements and use the roads. So we should be riding on the roads itself. Um, I've had a few times where authorities would have sent me off the road or just complain, asking me why I'm on the road when there's a pavement right there. So I think education is important. We should really be, um, let the people understand the laws. All in all, World Bike Day highlights the more serious aspects of today's world, hoping bicycle use will put a damper on global warming. But it also highlights the joys of biking. I'm Mary Tavis Bernard for TTT News and this is We Focus on World Bicycle Day.